What's up, America? It's old Jim Bob coming at you and Jim Bob commentary. Why not do a little commentary in today about the olden days? Back in the day, I used to have me some motorcycles. Uh, I had quite a few of them. I think about 12 of them in my lifetime. Back up in the 60s, late 60s, I joined me up in one of them motorcycle gangs. I had a buddy, his name was Zipbop. He came over, I was living with my brother and sister-in-law at the time. And he come over there one night, I don't know where they was, but they wasn't home. And anyway, we got to drinking and he brung some whiskey with him. And I don't do real well drinking the whiskey. And we got in a lot of trouble that night and uh, I had to go find me another place to stay the next day. Uh, I can't blame my brother and my sister-in-laws. I was kind of rowdy and... I, I never held no grudges against that anyways. But anyhow, uh, uh, I'll tell you about Zip Bop. Zip Bop, he's a good buddy back then. And he had a lime green pan head. I think it was a 57. Lime green metal flick, all chromed out. Boy, that thing was so pretty. Ooh, man. A chick magnet. And anyway, uh, he, he, uh, the way he got his name was, uh, one, one time one of the brothers got locked up in the jail. And I don't remember what he did wrong, but, uh, he got locked up over there anyways. And so, uh, old Zip Bop goes down there. He wasn't Zip Bop then. He was just Chuck. And, uh, so he goes down there and he walks on in up in the jail there and he says, Hey! This is Zip Bop Bail Bond Service. I'm here to get my man. Ever since that day, we've been calling him Zip Bop. So that's the story of Zip Bop. He's a fine fella. And uh, he's talking about the brotherhood and stuff like that. Well, I, I was already brothers with him and a couple other fellas, Louie and like that. And we was already pretty tight. And uh, so we'd all join. We all joined up in it. And I was in it there for a while. And I decided I didn't really want to do it. I always kind of been a lone wolf myself. I, I'm not much of joining up in the membership gangs and stuff, but I, I was in there and well, I'll tell you the truth of the matter is I, the real reason I joined was on account of the, I wanted to get up with the girls. I mean, them girls like the motorcycles and uh, you get an old chopper like I did, uh, they liked it. In them days, it's, you had to build your own chopper. Um, you didn't, couldn't buy a whole lot of stuff. Uh, you didn't have internet. And you'd buy it through the mail or you get it up at the Harley shop, one or the other. And I bought me some customized pipes and I had some eight hangers on there for a while and then I, I graduated on the Z-bars. I like the Z-bars best. And uh, that kind of thing. And you and like uh, when you extend your front end, uh, make your front end longer on the motorcycle. Nowadays you just buy a little whatever uh, and it's all chromed and fixed up. Well, we'd, we'd have, we'd get the extensions but then it had no chrome sleeves on them so we'd take a vacuum cleaner. Um, they weren't the hoses but there was a chrome part on the vacuum cleaner and chop them off, slide them on there and then they'd be chromed up. See? And then build your own sissy bar. Everybody had their own kind of sissy bar, kind of customized. You'd go up to the welding shop and get it built up, and, and then they'd fix that up and then, uh, chrome it up and put it on there. And uh, then you'd uh, build up your engine, make her fast like that. And uh, I had the Dodge motor pistons in mine, make it faster, stuff like that. So that's what you had to do back in the day. Not today. Today you just go on the internet and buy it. But anyhow. Uh, so I was in the motorcycle game, and uh, uh, I got out though, uh, I got out a little bit before I met my first wife, Loretta, and uh, but uh, I was still hanging around with her a little bit after we, we got together, and we have still had some fun, lots of fun, I'll tell you that, and uh, so uh, I got out and I went on, got into my career and uh, stuff like that. Then, uh, so now, 
I'm all retired. I'd like to have me a motorcycle again, but I can't. I ain't got enough money. The Communist Channel Social Security don't send me enough to buy a Harley. I, they don't believe in it. So that's all right. So uh, I, I can't have a Harley today. If I had, boy, if I could, I'd still be riding. Boy, I tell you what. And anyhow, uh, so I got to thinking. I'm, I'm gonna start me up a gang uh, for for uh, fellers that's over 70 years old and you got to be 70 years old to be in this gang uh, I'm sorry Earl I know you out there and I know you'd like to be in it you ain't, you'll be in it a couple more years I'll let you prospect uh, I might even cut you short because you're a friend and get you on in but anyways uh, I'm gonna start up this gang for 70 year olds and older and the name of the gang is going to be called the Brittle Bone Brotherhood. That's going to be our name. And uh, we're going to get thousands of us. And uh, we're going to be worldwide. We're not just going to be in the United States of America. We're going all over the world. So uh, you young gangers out there, one percenters, uh, I'm putting you on notice. You don't want to mess with us old guys. Because if you do, you might think you could whoop us because we're old, but uh, you might find yourself uh, covered with a bunch of poop from our Depends. That's the way we're going to fight. We'll throw a uh, big old nasty uh, Depends on you, and you'll be all covered up with the boot. That's our defense mechanism. So you young guys, you want to mess with us, just come on. We'll take you on. Anyway, and I'm going to get the Brittle Bone Brotherhood started. And uh, we're going to ride down the highway. be thousands of us holding up traffic for miles and miles and miles. And can't nobody do nothing about it. Because you can't put an old man in jail. And if you can, we don't care. We, we'll probably do just as well in jail as we do on out of jail. But here's the thing about the Brittle Bone Brotherhood is going to be a little different. You see, when you turn 60, around in there and get the Social Security, you start getting stuff in the mail from people you never heard of. And one of them was them uh, handicapped scooter people keep sending me stuff, wanting me to buy one of them handicapped scooters. Said it's free. We get you on the Social Security. We can get you one for nothing. And uh, so I got to thinking that's what we'll do. I see a lot of them, a lot of people, a lot more people now. You ride up and down the road, you see lots of old people on them scooters. And that's the people we're going to recruit to join. And uh, we're going to soup them up, put some uh, ape hangers on them, assisted bars, and make them faster. And uh, I'm going to put flames on mine. And uh, we're going to make them fast and everything. And uh, not too fast because we want to we want to disrupt the traffic. That's our, our main goal. And we're going to drink and party and have a good old time just like back in the 60s. Be free love, all that stuff. And uh, so we're going to do that. And uh, I'm going to keep you posted on now. Don't worry, I'm going to keep on doing my commentaries. Uh, I'm just going to do the, I'm going to be the president of the gang uh, on the side and uh, my videos will still be coming so you don't have to worry about that I know you'd be concerned that I might quit doing it but I won't so uh, just look out now you're going to see us all with our cutoffs on and our badass looking old men riding down the road in our our uh, handicapped scooters with uh, all souped up flames on them and uh, sissy bars and all that kind of stuff and our old ladies will be flashing uh, down the road and stuff like that. We're going to upset a whole bunch of people when we do it. But we're ready. We're going to do it. So get ready and uh, look out for us. You'll see us out there. Okay. Jim's out.